Yeah. So I do got some questions for you, Joseph, and I wanted to ask about the Breath of the Wild. How does it feel on the Nintendo Wii U? Uh, it feels. Well, I mean, would you say breathtaking? Yeah! I'm not sure <laughs> what you mean by that, but as far as the game design goes, it is absolutely incredible. Yeah. They did a phenomenal job of uh, letting you have tons of freedoms to do literally whatever you want. Mm -hmm. um, you can decide whether you want upgrades in heart containers or stamina, or you know if you want to throw weapons at people or use the weapons, <laughs> like where you want to go, when you want to go. Wait, right. can you throw weapons at NPCs? You can, you can also hit them, but they don't really do much, so you're just like, yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but they get kind of messed up. up. But, they, but, but, but they got a, but they got a reaction to it, right? Yeah, so like, there's a reaction to it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he just blocked it? Yeah. Can you pick it back up? Looks like a good yes, I can pick it back up. Okay. But he's, but it, I guess, can't. what he's really saying is, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, maybe I can't pick it up? <laughs> mm. <laughs> There we go. Okay, we're good. <laughs> and uh, what about the uh, what, what's the, the what, what makes it so different than the past Zelda games? Like, if you have any... it's completely different. Like, Is it gameplay wise? It's I mean, obviously, it's not as nearly as linear as some of the past Zelda games. Wow. Of course. And I thought Ocarina wasn't that linear. Ocarina is super linear. Not to me. <laughs> well, I need, I need to I need to really tell you where to go. Yeah, I mean, you know. Yeah. Like. Okay. I mean, obviously there's side quests, and you can have that freedom, but for yeah. the most part, popular of time is like, they tell you exactly where to go and stuff like that. Right. Because you replayed it on the um, 3DS, too. Yeah, right? I played it on the 3DS. Oh, okay. And you said something that it plays, like, something, this, this new version of Zelda, it's like, it plays something like Dark Souls and... Yeah, Monster so it's Hunter. like Monster Hunter, Dark Souls, and Shadow of the Colossus. That's, that's how I feel. Mm -hmm. Wow. And like, it's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> And I know, and then I noticed that you can, um, you can like you can go like it's a lot more open world than it should be. Like you can glide to different areas. Yeah, and... no, like this is straight up open world. It's like, like again, it's like Dark Souls. Everything's connected. It's just one giant map. Wow. Yeah. I was about to say, how big is the map? World. It's open world. Yeah, Big open like, world. Yeah. Wow. Is there any like buffer time for open world? Uh, so like if you do teleportation like this, then uh then obviously it loads the game because you're going from one point to another like immediately. Mm. But as you're traveling, like just on foot, it's it's like very smooth. Oh, and I noticed that um, you also have a horse, you can surround the horse. Yes. But then I know something different about that horse, you can actually... Um, Get on my horse. <laughs> <laughs> Get on my horse. Um, that I know some, some things in the gameplay where you have to uh, build its bondage. Yes. What, what's, what, what is, what's, new, what's new about that? So the deal is, is that there's no opponent. Right. It's kind of a bummer. I mean, there is technically an opponent, but you can only... I think you can only get it by... Uh, um, uh, mm. By, uh, like, using an amiibo. Mm -hmm. You can use an amiibo? Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Are you comparing the game to? Yes, yes. The is combat in this is... Um, the combat in this is <laughs> super fun. Smart move, buddy. Yeah, well, you know, shut up. <laughs> um, it's way different. I'm still locked out. Yeah, no, I got that. <laughs> it's way different. Um, again. Wow. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So, so you can ride your shield as like a snowboard, which is super cool. That's really different. <laughs> um, I could ask a ground break. Like, it's not like, you know, the best way of transportation, but it's still super cool. Um, so yeah, here's a stable. So in this open world, there's tons of different stables that you can go around. Mm. Um, so what you do is you find a wild horse, and then you can tame it, and then it becomes you know your, your horse. Buddy. Right. Yeah, your buddy. Mm -hmm. um, and so at first, when you get the horse, they're just kind of like, yeah, I don't want to listen to you. I'm just going to do my own thing. Um, so you have to like. Uh, build a relationship with it, and then eventually they just start, you know, doing whatever you say, and um, they won't fight you as much, and it's just, 
It's mm -hmm. really cool. It's not like super complex or anything, but mm -hmm. it's just. It's, it's not like the Last Guardian kind of shit. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. It's, <laughs> it's, you're not like. It's not focused on building a relationship with the horse, but yeah. it's a cool little thing. Like, you can feed the horse and it'll be happier and stuff. Oh, that's cool. And yeah, it's just a nice little touch. That's, that's, uh, okay, so they're putting a lot more interaction with in terms of the gameplay they didn't do before. Oh, yeah. yeah like, the, the, the whole thing is that there's a huge interaction between you and the environment. Wow. <laughs> so, like, you know, you can get involved with the horses. There's also some dogs that you can talk to. If I I should have brought my wolf link with me though. Because um, you can get the wolf link to help you fight. And like, if you put fire on the ground and you're dry grass, then there'll be a patch of fire laying around there. And wow. it creates an updraft. So you can use that to go in the sky with your, uh, with your hang glider. Mm -hmm. And just like all different kinds of stuff like that. Um, also a lot of uh, areas that are taken over by enemies, they'll have like bombs and stuff around. So if you plan, how you want to defeat the enemies, then say you can shoot the bomb that's right next to them and take out a bunch of enemies or lower their health like a ton. Um, wow. <laughs> and you can use different places to uh, to cover yourself so that way you can sneak around and there's sneak strikes in this. So you can go full uh, Metal Gear, sneak around, take an enemy out. Um, and that, that's a big reason why I chose the Sheikah armor as like my favorite set mm. um, because it, it boosts your uh, stealth. Oh, nice. So you can sneak up on an opponent, they won't notice you, and uh, it takes a huge amount of their health. And most of the time, it'll kill them in one hit. Wow. Um, <laughs> so insane. it's just really cool. And then, what about the uh, boss battles? How do they feel in terms of combat? Like, is it different, or does it feel like the same old Zelda? So, it's not... It's definitely not the same as, yeah. like, older Zelda titles, because mm -hmm. typically, aside from A Link Between Worlds, yeah. You would be given an item in that dungeon, and you'd have to use that item to kill the boss. Right. In this one, it's very similar to just how everything else is, in that you can decide how you want to kill the boss. Really? So it's Obviously, there, there's like better ways to do it compared to others. Yeah. Like, you might want to go for the weak spots and stuff like that, mm -hmm. but for the most part, it's up to you how you want to you know, oh, deal so. with the boss. Oh, so it's kind of like Monster Hunter in a way. Yeah. yeah, yeah, Monster has weak spots and stuff like that, so, mm -hmm. you know, if you can... Uh, also, there are weapons that, you know, mm -hmm. can, are stronger against other monsters and kind of stuff like that. And there's a similar situation in this as well, so, like, there's uh, different elemental bosses. There's there's mid-bosses, too, like the uh, Igneo Talus is this giant lava rock monster, mm -hmm. and you can, uh, you can shoot like ice arrows at it and it'll it'll make it like a normal rock monster so you can step on it and hit its uh oh nice like hit its weak spots and kill it that way <laughs> that's so cool so certain elements makes it makes it more vulnerable in yes. ways and is there, is there is there ever a challenge where you had a hard time getting through uh certain uh, enemies or losses yes um but so uh, there's this thing called uh it's not like an official term, but uh, it's <laughs> Spark Mandrel Syndrome mm -hmm. from Mega Man X. And that's basically, you'd use this item called the Ice Shotgun, and basically if you timed it right, it would make it so that the boss couldn't move or do anything. Wow. And it's really overpowered, and in some cases there's the same situation in these games. Mm -hmm. Which I kind of don't like, but also at the same time it's like, okay, the other way is kind of impossible, but this way is ridiculously easy, so... <laughs> you know, it's kind of cool, but kind of like, eh, I wish they hadn't have done that. But, you know, it's it's the fact that you still have to figure that out. And you can still decide not to do it, you just take out the boss officially. Um, so, like, there's, there's all that kind of different stuff. And see, um, the combat in this is, like, way different compared to the other ones. Yeah, I noticed it's all slow motion, yeah. dodging, and... Yeah, and so yeah, because so I time whale and dodge correctly, the enemy was able to... Uh, do that. I like that. That's pretty cool. See, look, there's fire here now, so it might create an upgrade. Yeah. yeah. So, wow. So, that is so cool. Oh, that is so cool. So you can even do that. So when you're in the air, you can pull out your bow and you can go slow motion. Yeah, exactly. That's like some Metal Gear Rising shit right there, man. Yeah, it's super cool. Yeah. Um, and then if I can parry this correctly, 
uh, and not die. <laughs> um, so yeah, if I can parry that correctly, then it's, it does kind of the same thing. It counters him, and it's super cool weapon, and run. Run and dodge. Yeah. So it's all about timing your parries and, and your dodging. Yeah, pretty much. It's just like a just guard and like people or something. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Ooh, we got one now, man. Yeah, you're about to die in a minute. That is like Dark Souls because it's the amount of yeah, damage. The, the, the amount of damage is ridiculous in this game. That that's is super cool. Yeah, that's really cool. I'm glad they got like some influ- a lot of influences on yeah, the Yeah, and like in the old Zelda games, there was like you would fight an enemy and usually can just kill them in three hits or something like that. Yeah. In this game they got full health gauges and there's a lot of enemies that are like ridiculously strong, like this guy, he's one of the top ones. Wow. And he's actually a leveled up version of the enemy. And he's got tons of moves. And again, I can hit weak spots, or I can parry, or I can do that, because that is super fun. Mm. <laughs> it is better that it's just fun that way. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> nice. So, once you defeat certain enemies, they just become stronger and they eventually come back. No, so move. this is like a new area. Oh, it's a new area, okay. Yeah, so like there's... Oh, and another thing, the rain. Mm-hmm. Like, you can't really climb things as easily in the rain because it's wet. Really? And that's like, that's a legitimate, and so see the fire goes out immediately, and that's like a legitimate factor in the game, so you gotta plan wow. around it. So it's literally you against this wild environment, which is why it's called, oh yeah, and the lightning! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> which is really bad, because then you gotta take out, you have to unequip anything metal. Right. Because then it attracts the lightning and you get literally hit by that lightning. So now I can't use so a shield. So the really just got logical. Yeah, no, it's it's physics simulator. Wow. That's, um, this shit's way more deeper so than So I'm not going to fight this thing anymore because I can't use any of my weapons at this point. Of course. Yeah. Um, I mean, well, I, I could. Let's see. Uh, yeah, I can use this little wooden sword, but I can't use a shield. <laughs> um, which is really bad. I can deal with your little wooden sword. Does, do, does your weapons like, ever get worn out or anything like that? Or yeah, they... so in this game, it's really, like, different mm-hmm. because your weapons break. Oh, shit. Yeah, so they wear down and they break, so if you use it too much, it'll just, it's done for. So you have to continuously look for new weapons mm-hmm. and uh, just, you know, try to survive. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, everything breaks. So weapons break, uh, shields break. break. Arrows, they disappear. Your uh, bow, it breaks. Wow. Um, and obviously the weapons break uh, a lot more compared to like a, a bow. Mm-hmm. Because with the weapon you're actually hitting something with it. And if you hit a rock or something, that, that affects durability. Wow. Um, <laughs> even, yeah, so, it, so even when you're screwing around with just the weapon in the wall, it'll, it'll actually get worn out? Or? Yeah, exactly. So you don't want to just you know attack things with a more. Right. Um, let's see. Um, <laughs> so yeah, there's a lot of different uh, aspects to this game. It's all really detailed, man. Yeah, it's it's super cool. And like, there's a stamina wheel now, and there was... Stamina wheel? Wow. Yeah. It's like some Neo right there, too. <laughs> so, um, it's a Neo has a stamina wheel. Yeah, stamina. so like, in Skyward Sword, there was a stamina wheel. Uh-huh. Um, and it really didn't do anything. Like, mm-hmm. it was just a stamina bar to be a stamina bar. Oh. <laughs> but in this case... Like... Oh god, no, 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 no! <laughs> oh no! Eyes of thunder god. Here's a focus here's a for a minute. <laughs> yeah. I do got some, I do got some uh, other questions that are different from this. Uh, there we go. Okay. Besides this game right here, but I'm gonna bring that up later. Um, um, so yeah, now I just defeated this dude, so I can take his weapons, mm-hmm. and they're super strong. Oh, nice. Oh god, what do I have to oh, do? So each, so each enemy you defeat, uh, I'm not sure if you brought this up earlier, so each enemy uh, boss you defeat, you earn new weapons. Mm-hmm. You know, oh, crazy. Dude, that's <laughs> Give me this! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, that's um, a sweet shield. I so yeah, I can, uh, that shield now. Yeah, no, I'm gonna unequip that, but I'm trying to take this stuff before... That lightning goes off. <laughs> uh, there we go. Okay. So oh, wait, if, so if you're wearing armor, would that affect you with the armor? I mean, so the armor running? is not affected. Armor does not uh, break, mm-hmm. and it does not affect things like the lightning. Mm-hmm. But 
what the armor does do is uh, you can use it for uh, skills. Yeah. So like this one, like I said, it's got a stealth boost, and since I upgraded it twice for all three pieces, I run faster at night, or I, all my movements are faster at night. Mm -hmm. um, but like there's this armor here, which makes it so that when it's really hot, mm -hmm. then you're okay. Really? So there's there's a, a thermostat in this game. So if it's yeah. too hot, then you'll take damage. If it's too cold, you'll take damage. Yeah, I noticed that because like when you um, I saw some gameplay early on GameSpot where they show a link freezing or he's at least yeah, he's exactly. making body expressions now in the game when you're mm -hmm. in that menu selecting your weapons and stuff. So that's pretty interesting. Huh? Oh. Oh, heal, heal, heal. One, one more question about this though for the uh, environment. What about swimming? So um, swimming, it uses the stamina meter. Okay. And if you get the Zora armor, then you can swim faster. Mm -hmm. Also, by using the Zora armor uh, with the is it kind of like the, the blue? Helmet? It's kind of like the blue outfit from Arcane. Yeah. Time. So that one right there, that that Zora armor. Um, there's a piece of armor that lets you actually swim up waterfalls. Which mm -hmm. can get you to new locations and stuff like that, and uh, it's really cool. <laughs> oh, okay. You have any th any questions, you guys? Or? No. All right. All right. Just making sure. <laughs> um, and then yeah, you can get different armor for uh, for like resistances. So like this one here, this has shock resistance. Mm -hmm. So like if I got hit by lightning or something like that, then it won't affect me as much. Oh. Um, and I don't know all the details because I haven't really used it that much. I haven't needed to. <laughs> but um, I'm sure either it helps you defend against the lightning or it makes it so that you don't get paralyzed or don't get as paralyzed as long. Mm -hmm. um, so, okay. yeah, it's got that kind of stuff. Well, nice. I suggest you use all of it right now because you're about to die from all of this thunder shock. Yeah, <laughs> I need to heal. Oh, and in this game you cook. You can cook uh, too? You cook. You have to cook. Because if you don't cook, then you won't have a large majority of these healing items here. So it's mostly like uh, Final Fantasy XV, where you have to always cook. I haven't played it, but oh, probably. Hmm. I really want you though. I have it if you want to it. <laughs> yeah, it kind of does. <laughs> oh, yeah. Or you can even say, uh, what was that one? Uh, or like Monster Hunter, where you have to cook the food. Yeah, yeah so yeah. in Monster Hunter, you cook the food to heal stamina. In this case, you can use it for a couple things. You can use it to heal yourself, or you can use it to do other bonuses. Like this one, you can increase your stamina bar like while you're doing certain actions. There's also ones where they increase your maximum amount of uh, hearts for a little while mm -hmm. uh, until you lose those hearts, basically. Um, there's this one here that makes you run faster and all that kind of stuff. It's the same thing as the armor, except for the temporary. Oh, okay. Oh, that's pretty cool, man. Mm -hmm. I think the thunder's trying to kill you on purpose now. Oh yeah, no, this, yeah. the thunder just, it, it goes to random locations as well. Oh, like Zeus is and, pissed. Uh, sometimes <laughs> it, it's, 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 it's pissed off. Well, that's because I uh, didn't unequip right my, uh, mm -hmm. my metal bar. Oh, yeah, oh, so it, it's pretty Great scary, time. to be honest. <laughs> it lights things on fire, it breaks trees, uh, it's, it's trying super to kill loud. You right now. It, 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 yeah, it comes close a lot. And it's really scary sometimes. Okay, that's still so close to... Um, there's the, the Guardians. Those guys are also pretty scary. Which I can show you some. Uh, because, of course, you want people to be scary. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, but they're, they're fun to fight, too. <laughs> oh, by the way, guys, eventually we're going to try out the Nintendo Switch oh, version. Oh, of course. Later? Yeah, later on. I'll let, uh, when yeah, so out. I've read things about the differences between the Switch yeah. and the Wii U version. And apparently, they're both good. Yeah. But no. the Switch is bad in certain areas, while the Wii U is bad in different areas as well. So there's a balance between the two. So flaws. basically. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you'd like to see more content, please don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. If you'd like to send us your feedback, you can also check out our Facebook page by clicking on the link below. And stay tuned for more discussion videos and gameplay.